EA Sports just released the three best free rewards in Madden 24, and in today's video, I'm going to showcase what they are as well as how to earn them. Now, Soul Sister family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Really quickly, before we get started, the first person to comment the word Swift down below in the comment section is getting 250,000 coins for free. Drop a comment if you want the coins. Okay, now you probably guessed it. The free rewards we're going to be talking about in today's video are located in the updated and revamped competitive field pass. Because boys, as you can see in here, there are three rewards I want to highlight. The first one is located at level number 22. And I'm not going to lie to you, this might be the reward I'm most excited for. 89 overall Justin Fields is available at 1,138 competitive points. And no, I'm going to try not to call it CP anymore. I don't want the FBI knocking down my door if I keep on saying that word. <laughs> But like I was saying, this 89 overall Justin Fields, in my opinion, might just be one of the best quarterbacks in the game, if not the best QB. 90 plus speed, 90 plus throw power. He's a right-handed QB. I'm a big fan of the card. I'm excited to get him. I actually do really like Justin Fields in real life, so I'm excited to play with this card on my team at level 22. Now, level 27. This right here is the best way to make coins in this game. Level 27 is an 89 overall legend player, but boys, if legend overalls go up to 90 overalls, this becomes a 90 overall legend player. If legend overall go up to 91s, this becomes a 91 overall player. Basically, what this reward will give you is it will give you the highest overall card in this game, which can just give you an absolute ton of coins at level 27. We love to see it. Now, next up, level 31. This is called a red zone pack, but realistically, when you open this up, you actually get a token called spend five minutes with Swift. Nah, I'm just messing. <laughs> nah, but the reward that I do want to talk about is level number 48. That's going to be a J-Ron curse 90 overall player. I'm not going to lie. The card is really good right now. 90 speed, six foot three. But by the time we earn him, I don't know that this card will be super, super overpowered because I think we'll be getting players with higher speed and better stats at that point. So level 48, it looks good right now, but it's going to take a while to get to. So the two rewards that I'm probably most excited for are level 27, absolutely free coins, and level 22. I do quite like Justin Fields. Now, before we get started with two tips you absolutely need to know to level up this competitive field pass really quickly, fellas, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. They're not even really a sponsor of this specific video. They're a sponsor of my entire life, boys. It's Underdog Fantasy. I'm wearing their t-shirt right now, and I'm not going to lie. My shoulders are kind of busting out of it. Goddamn. <laughs> nah, but like I was saying, boys, Underdog Fantasy is a place where you can make higher or lower player picks like these ones you see on the screen. And if you sign up using my promo code SWIFT before football starts on Sunday, there's a Tua Tagovailoa 0.5 total yards line for any new signups. I know they've been doing a lot of specials for new users, but basically the way Underdog works is whenever you sign up, you actually get a special free line. This one is Tua Tagovailoa for Sunday. So if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy and make some Picks. It's actually a really fun site. I will leave it linked in the description. Use the promo code SWIFT as you're signing up to support me. It helps my channel a ton. It's actually the best way to support me as a creator. That and hitting that sub button. So hit that sub button as well if you want to. <laughs> but getting back on track, let's talk about the competitive field pass really quickly. There are two things you absolutely need to note. Number one, this is something that I've talked about before. If you want to get competitive points in the quickest way possible, play Mutt Champions. I have literally played three Mutt Champions games since the new competitive field pass came out. And look, I feel like I'm almost done every single mission here. It's crazy. Look how much progress I've gotten in just three games. And boys, the reason why you want to play my champions is because not only can you get progress in these objectives, but you get way more XP for playing these. Look at this. Pass for yards in my champions gives me 26 XP when I complete it. If I pass for yards in solo battles, I only get 10. If I pass for yards in head-to-head -head seasons, I only get two. To buy modern 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. So, by far the best way of getting XP is playing Mutt Champions. And boys, they remove the win game aspect of any of these missions. So if you guys remember in the past competitive field pass, you had to win the game for the mission to track. That's not the case anymore. If you lose, it still tracks. So that leads me to tip number one. Obviously play Mutt Champions is simple. I'm not even going to count that as a tip. Every single person knows that. But tip number one is you absolutely want to go in here, click the game options button. So that's kind of the pause button right here on my remote. It's on the top of my PlayStation. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up these settings. Now for coin toss first choice, you want to put this to receive. Reason being is because so many missions in here are going to require you to get offensive yards, score touchdowns, score points in the first quarter even, and we want the football to be able to achieve those things. I don't want to start my much champions game and have to play defense. When I'm playing defense, I'm not racking up XP. Like look at this boys, there's passing for yards, they're scoring touchdowns, they're scoring rushing touchdowns, there's two point conversions, they're scoring points in first quarters. Almost every single mission here, except for about two of them, are all 
all offensive base. So we want the football first when we're playing my champions and to do so, put your settings to receive every single game I've played so far I have received. And that's because a lot of people typically put their settings to kick. But if you're grinding my champions, absolutely put it on receive. Now, tip number two, this is kind of something that I don't really recommend doing. And honestly, just kind of makes the game mode less fun. But realistically, if you wanted to, you could just get the ball first, score a touchdown, and then quit out of the game if you wanted to. I don't really think that's the move. It is kind of an efficient way of grinding. If you don't have much time, you could do that because, again, it doesn't matter if you win the game, right? So say you get the ball first, you score your touchdown, maybe you go for two, you get the first quarter points, you get the two-point conversion, you get the passing touchdown, you get the passing yards. You could theoretically quit out and then just do that over and over again. I don't really recommend that, though, to be fully honest with you because there are other missions in here where you got to get tackles. There are other missions where you got to get interceptions so probably don't necessarily do that but if you wanted to you absolutely could or if you're in a much champions game and you're like you know what this kind of sucks this guy's a bit too good for me i don't feel like sweating this one out you could quit out but honestly i'm not a fan of that i do kind of like obviously the competitive aspect of madden that's why everyone likes playing this game so to be honest with you i'm not a big fan of that i will say i actually lost one much champion game out of the three that i played which is a little bit blasphemous but to be honest we've been racking up so so many stats so far that realistically it's only going to take me maybe five or six more much champions games and i'll knock out every single one of these missions. So absolutely, I think the number one thing to do in Madden is playing much champions right now. You get so much XP. There are pretty solid rewards in here as well, like level eight, level four. That gives you some experience points. There's other solid stuff in here, like an 87 overall pack at level nine. Realistically, I'm going to be there maybe today, maybe tomorrow. That's awesome. So really, in my opinion, the number one thing to do in Madden right now is getting progress on much champions. There's no reason not to. You also get some solid packs in here, like a midfield pack. We're going to get a playmaker pack. There's some solid stuff you get for leveling up. We'll open up a couple of these rewards right here but to be honest like i said before the two tips you need to know play my champions and set those kickoff settings to receive that's really really critical i'm not gonna lie to you because setting it to receive is gonna help you out so much when it comes to just starting off a on the right foot in your games a lot of the time if you start by scoring a touchdown the other person's gonna be throwing the football that's gonna help you get tackles that's gonna help you get interceptions which are things you need to do uh, to actually complete the field pass and number two probably most importantly there's a mission for scoring first quarter points if you kick the football off you're less likely to get the ball in the first quarter you're less likely to score points in the first quarter. So boys, it's really critical that you have your settings on receive. That's actually a very important thing to do. And I feel like it's made my game so far a heck of a lot easier. Realistically, if I started out on defense and I got an interception to start the game off, I'm only getting progress on one mission. But if I started on offense, I score a passing touchdown and go for two. I'm getting progress on passing yards, passing touchdowns, first quarter points, as well as two point conversions. That's a lot more than starting on defense. Now, yeah, that's going to do it for me. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you want to check out what you got to be doing first in the new unstoppable promo in Madden 24. Click the video you see on the screen. I think you will enjoy it and I'm out. Peace. So, so, so